Hey folks, I got a request on my Facebook page uh, for a quick tip on how to sync up your FPV footage. So for example, if you've got a GoPro on your copter, but you're also recording DVR, how do you get those synced up? I'm going to show you how I do it. I am uh, self-taught at Premiere, so if anybody out there is an actual pro and knows a better way to do it, I'm certainly open to tips. I'm always wanting to learn more. But here's how I do it. I'll start with the high def footage right here. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and mute this so I don't destroy your ears with, um, with, with the sound of the motors. And the first thing I want to tell you that I do is I always do claps at the beginning of a flight or of a recording. And that is useful because it makes this uh, sharp peak in the audio waveform that you can see here. Let me just make that a little bigger. And that helps you sync up. Of course, I didn't invent this in, in filmmaking. They use a clapperboard, right, to do the same thing, but I don't have a clapperboard. This is actually not a great example because of the way the sun is. You can't actually see me clapping very effectively. But let's just go with it. Let's just see the best we can do. So here I've got the playhead dragged to the very first clap. That's the frame where the very first clap audio is. And here in the uh, source monitor, I'm going to find the first frame where my hands touch together. So you can see here, I'm giving the take number, I'm holding up one finger, and as I go forward, apologies for the audio here. There's the, there's the first frame where my hands touch together. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the in point for the clip to be that frame where the hands touch together. And then these icons will let you drag either just the audio or just the video. We want just the video, the audio from this is useless. So I'm gonna drag just the video to the timeline and it's gonna snap, I've got snap turned on. It's gonna to snap to the playhead so that now it is perfectly lined up. So let's just watch as I take off here and watch the horizon right here at the edge of the screen relative to the horizon right here. See if they're, they're together. And it looks like the, uh, the FPV video is slightly behind the high def video. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the alt left arrow to nudge the FPV video to the left earlier in the timeline. Now let's see how that works. Closer, I'll nudge it two more frames. Mm, close, let's nudge it one more frame. That's pretty dead on. Maybe one more frame. Let's, if you really want to get precise. So now we've synced the beginning of the clip, but actually watch. If we go to the end of the clip, you're going to see that it's out of sync. Pretty substantially. Why is that? Watch again. Pretty substantially out, isn't it? And the reason is that they're not playing back at the same frame rate. So the, the Xiaomi Yi is recording at 60 FPS. The, uh, the DVR is at 29.97 FPS. And the net result is that when you bring them in, they're not perfectly conformed. I, I don't know. They get a little bit out of sync. So what you have to do is you have to sync the beginning of the clip, as I showed you. And then you're going to go to the end of the clip. So let's say this point where I land. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off the end of the clip. And I'm going to go to a point and I'm going to sync the end of the clip as well. And what let's do is let's sync the end of the clip using my landing. So let's find the point where I land. Okay, so there's touchdown on the high def camera and there's touchdown on the DVR. So the DVR is slightly longer. So I'm going to use the rate stretch tool. And I'm going to grab the end of that clip and I'm going to just drag it in slightly. And I'm going to just do this by trial and error, really. Okay, so now the FPV video touched down sooner. Let me just zoom in slightly. I'm going to drag that out just a little bit. Closer. That's pretty darn close. I'm going to call that pretty good. So now I'm going to go back and do some flight video toward the end, and let's just see how synced up it looks.
And especially for like a sharp turn like that, that's a place where you'll really see if it's out of sync. And it looks, uh, it looks, you can decide if it looks good enough and you can go back with the rate stretch tool and sort of tweak it to get it better. So that's the takeaway. The takeaway is to getting them synced up is number one, uh, give yourself something to get a rough sync, such as the claps. So do the claps and record the claps on both your high def and your DVR. If you have an audio track that you're recording, like a, like a, a voiceover, the claps will also help you sync those up. Then do your fine sync using the beginning of the flight, such as when you first take off. Nudge the, tr the clip left and right till you get that mostly dead on. Then go to the end of the clip and use the rate stretch tool to adjust the rates for the clip to get it close. And that's how you sync them up. Hope that's been helpful and educational. Happy flying.